11th title of today's seminar is Diamonds in the Rough. And if you're not familiar with it, I wanted to kind of introduce you to the Bukowski site, thepatternsite.com. Um, great site to use uh, for, for beginner traders if you're kind of getting into the, the technical analysis of, of stocks. You know, as we mentioned in earlier classes, we got the technical aspect of trading, the fundamental aspect, which is looking at your profits and losses, uh, and then psychological. So this would be part of the technical. And you know, if you don't know about Bukowski, uh, there he is, you know, 36-year-old, um, retired mathematical genius. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, he's written the, the definitive book on technical analysis. It's this one right here, Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns. So if you haven't picked it up, uh, highly, highly recommend it. So what I was doing over this weekend was I know that he has this whole uh, index of, of every pattern under the sun that he's looked at in excruciating detail. And I wanted to find the number one pattern for uh, a bear market, given that, you know, what we have in the marketplace right now, um, you know, how things are trending. So I sorted through them all and actually came up with the diamond bottom. As you can see right here, uh, the diamond bottom pattern is the number one favorite of his for you know risk return and breakouts and, and not having you know big pullbacks uh, it's ranked eight out of 23 for uptrends which we're not in right now and then one out of 21 for downtrends so you know this this is the type of pattern that you know if you've, if you've been trading for a while i mean you kind of looked at it we've got a little trend line that kind of comes down through here you just can draw a top trend line and then you've got your breakout uh, but he specifically assigns you know that the diamond pattern to kind of weed out a little bit of the wheat from the chaff um, looking for some declining volume as you come into it, increasing volume on the way out, and you've got these, you know, these lower lows and higher highs on the way out. So looking for that breakout point right here. So um, knowing that this is the the pattern that uh, you know we'd want to see in maybe two or three months as the mark kind of market kind of settles down, you know what I wanted to do is uh, develop a screen to see if I can kind of get ahead of the game. So going over to my second most favorite site. Um, that's actually not second, this would be number one, Bukowski's like a top 10, is Finviz. If you haven't been here yet, uh, pull up a chair, get a bag of popcorn, and just play around with it. It's an amazing, amazing site that is, is for the most part free. Um, I have a lot of different things I could talk about here, I will in later classes, but right now what we're going to do is use the screener tool just to kind of show you, you know, how would we identify stocks that could be nice setups for this Bukowski pattern. Um, a screener tool just basically takes the entire universe of stocks and, you know, based on whether we're in a certain sector, country, market cap, price, you name it, they slice and dice it however you want. And, you know, as a trader, you have to kind of develop your, kind of like your palette of things that you look for in stocks. I'll give you a couple, a couple of things that I've used that have been helpful for me. First thing I always do is I bring country over to the USA. Uh, and this is just because of my experience, you know, in accounting and knowing, you know, how financials uh, work with U.S. companies. You know, once you get into things like Ireland and Canada uh, and China, you know, I, I, you have to be good at that, I think, and to trade that. So that's just one of the first things that I do. And then on price, I always like to stay over a dollar. Uh, typically, I like to be uh, between 5 and 10. But you can sort all the prices through here and custom give you, you know, different parameters. But let's do a 1 to 10 today. So just going on this alone, you know, if I were just to say, okay, now I need to kind of go through here one by one, I've got 72 pages with 20 on each page. A little bit of a, of a high number to scroll through, but you know, and if you kind of just drag your mouse on these, you can see all your patterns. This is still too much for me. So another couple things that I do uh, that I will share with you now. Um, on the financial side, I always like to um, you know, find an average volume of at least um, 100,000. So I'll go at least over 50 on this. And that weeds out a lot of these stocks that are not kind of pennies, but you know, if it's trading like five or thousand, five thousand shares a day, uh, really hard to build a position in that and get out. So a lot of people would say this needs to be over three hundred thousand. So I'm being quite aggressive with this. Um, so as you can see now, I'm back down to forty-eight pages uh, that I would need to scroll through to look through, you know, these patterns, which isn't too bad. But um, you can sort it and slice and dice it, you know, however you want. There's other ways you can do this too. You have fundamental things you can kind of pull off of and technical. Um, here's another one. Given that I play in the sandbox of biotechs quite a bit, I always come up with my price to cash ratio. I do not want this negative. Um, that always increases the risk of, you know, companies that need a secondary. So you're just looking for a high, high cash balance on the, uh, on the, uh, the balance sheet. So maybe I'll go like over five here just to kind of keep it, uh, keep it simple. It gives them some cash. I mean, you can be super aggressive on this and put it like super high over 50. 
you get some weird companies with that. And now that I have my list here, it's 20 pages, you know, something that's manageable. I'll just click on this and boom, bring up all the charts. So again, what we're trying to do is find companies that are in a downtrend that look to be setting up for a diamond pattern and then trading that breakout. And it just so turns out that on the first page, because I did this over the weekend, I came up with one right away. I mean, you can scroll through this and you're looking for downtrends that have that pattern that looks like a diamond on the bottom. And you'd have to go through page to page to page to page, which isn't you know, too bad. This is the work. This is what you need to do. And there's a ton of research that would go in to each one of these companies if you decided to kind of hone in on it. Um, but right here on the first page is one that popped up. Let me show it to you. I'm going to give away my secret right now. Uh, this company is called AdCare Health Systems. It's a long-term care facilities. Blow up a bigger picture of that for you. Downtrend. We've got our overhead resistance right here. And look at the shape of this right now. Okay, you've got this, this the beginning pattern maybe of what a diamond is. I got pretty excited about this because I also saw a confirmation that the, the volume right here is kind of picking up. So I brought it over to uh, one of my other favorite sites which is trading view. Um, this is, you know, your, 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 whatever, some people use stockcharts.com, some people use Yahoo. Um, you know, I love this guy because I'm just very familiar with it. And I kind of plotted it out. I put some triangles in here to kind of identify. I've got my higher highs and my higher lows on the way in. And I've got my higher lows and lower highs on the way out. Now this part of the, this part of the triangle right here has not confirmed yet. So this would be something that I put on you know, the radar um, that I have over here, these are some stocks, you know, that I've been looking at for a very, very long time. And, you know, I'd, I'd want to say, okay, out to here is February 2nd of 2016. If this guy can kind of stay in here and I see this volume, see how it's kind of escalating through here? I actually want to see the volume going down. Bukowski will talk about volume and how it plays significance, you know, in this in terms of all the stuff that he's looking here. Um, you know, the volume trend is downtrend 66% of the time. That means 33, 34% of the time, you know, it's kind of all over the place or uptrending. Doesn't mean the signal's broken, it just means it's not as strong, you know, as what he would want to pick up on. So there you go. That's the whole process of, of, you know, what the mind works like on the weekend, thinking that the market's going to bottom out at some point. I want to get familiar with this pattern, familiar with identifying it, and then I'll add ADK to my radar. Thanks a lot.